Hey guys, just a real quick check in. Uh, I thought I owed you guys an explanation for why there is no one piece at a time uh, this week, uh, as well as why there's no stories from the stead this week. And uh, the reason for that is because it's fall, it's harvest time, it's time to get the house in order, it's time to get you know everything in from the garden, get my seeds organized, uh, take care of all little things that have been put off all summer. Um, etc as well as I'm working on the distillers almanac and that's taking up a lot of time also if you have ghosts you have everything it's taking up a tremendous amount of time with editing right now and getting ready to go into uh, October we always do sort of a, a bonus set of episodes uh, for the month of October which we'll be doing again this year focusing on some old school fairy tales and stuff like that again I love narrating stuff like that there's also going to be an almanac episode this year uh, sort of talking about the history of the almanac, where almanacs come from, what they represent, all those sort of things. And I may also be in the midst of potentially working out a book deal, uh, a multiple book deal potentially. We will see where that goes, but I am very excited about it. On top of all the old homestead work, um, it's a lot to keep up with. But the main reason there's no uh, one piece at a time this week and no stories from the stead. There may not be next week either. We'll just have to see how time plays out because I've got to get this practical distiller's almanac done for 2025 so that you guys can get it in your hands uh, by November and December. So my plan is to have this thing wrapped up by the end of September, beginning of October, get it out there to the printers so they can get their thing done and get it in your hands before the beginning of the new year, right? It'd make a great Christmas present for people. So last year was the first year that I did the Practical Distillers Almanac. This is something I'm dedicating a good portion of my time and my life to, something I really believe in, something I, I see as a legacy to leave behind for myself, for my family, for someone to continue on and carry on with doing this in the future. Almanacs are an old school thing. There's not a lot of them left out there. There's three or four of them nowadays. Um, all the usual suspects, the old farmer's almanac, the farmer's almanac, there's uh, one, I can't remember the name of, has a red cover, I've actually got a copy of it on its way now, um, but there's not many out there, and there's not many people publishing new ones, and um, in this world of AI bullshit that we live in, I think it's very worthwhile to have paper media and hard media and uh, keep the old school folk traditions alive, so I am glad to be an American almanac writer. It's a very strange thing to say, but it's something I really enjoy doing. So to show you what's been taking up my time this week, of course, a few weeks ago you saw that I did this little circular calendar deal. I'm sure many of you saw that. Um, that took a little time, a little thought, and a little effort, but uh, that's going to get used for multiple projects. I'm not going to say any more about that, but that's going to get used for multiple things. But what's taking up my time this week is knocking out the actual calendar pages. So I went back through history, went back through a bunch of almanacs, and I looked at those almanacs, and uh, I figured out that the formatting was a little different than what we see nowadays with, uh, you know, falls and festivals on there, uh, the month day, the weekday, the solar sign, uh, the lunar sign, and also the lunar cycle. So some of you ladies, for example, may have noticed that your, your cycle changes. Part of that is because the lunar cycle is actually 29.5 days. So this is a nice little thing where you can look over and not only know the day of the month, etc., not know when, not just know when you know the full moon is, the quarter moons, the new moon, etc., but you can actually track the day of the moon. Right? Might make things a little easier for for you. I don't know, but uh, wherever I can help, then that's worthwhile. And of course, it's going to have notations on here too. So various different things to um, to plant or distill or brew or you know. Uh, malt, all those things that the Distiller's Almanac last year had, but a lot more user-friendly format, in my opinion, and I'm handwriting it. I'm handwriting the whole thing. I gritted out the whole thing by hand. I'm handwriting the whole thing by hand because I think that's unique. I think that's special. I think it's worthwhile, and I think it's something you'll enjoy. So I hope you'll understand my absence from some of the other projects at the moment, but this right now takes precedence so I can get it in your hands for next year i'm also going through uh so i'll put the holidays and all that stuff over there but uh there's also a bunch of historical things here right plus the name of the various moon of the month all that stuff uh but there's some cool history hidden in here so make sure you read through that as you read your almanac but uh all right guys love y'all later